dear colleagues, I'd like to talk about infusion port systems. There has been a session devoted to port systems, and our professionals express their viewpoints, and I will share our own vision. We will talk on behalf of Chelyabinsk Oncological Center. As to Venus Port Systems, our institution has been dealing since 2010. Initially, those were single cases. It started with um, surgery when subclavian vein was taken, and we implanted infusion camera. The team of vascular surgeons were performing that. Then we created a team of radio and vascular surgeons who are oncologists and started to use different methods. That is application, installation, infusion port system, uh, radiologically guided, and endoscopically guided. Now we are installing that on a day center. There are about 200 uh, cases per year. What sort of patients do we have, both men and women? But And the age is from 19 to 78. Gastrointestinal tract disorders prevail and daily infusions and schemes of chemotherapy, then breast cancer, lymphoid tissue, and other localizations. What are indications to install port system? In the beginning, we didn't have clear-cut indications. For example, bad veins. Our nurses told the doctors but that there were problems. There were burns, phlebitis. Uh, doctors were thinking about venous approach. And they often install subclavian venous catheters. The main indicator was long-term therapy, jelly infusions, medication therapy, and parenteral nutrition. Now we have clear indicators. Now the it is either polyclinic or a hospital that a commission is organized in the plan for the treatment. If patient needs DL infusion, adjuvant or non-adjuvant chemotherapy, high risk of progression, then patient immediately is, is sent for infusion port system. The doctor examines such patient, then uh, there is certain time allocated for this patient in the polyclinic, and he is hospitalized for a day. At the day of hospitalization, they perform infusion venous port system installation. We can install two or three port systems per day under local anesthesia. It is under X-ray control. The procedure ranges from 20 to 40 minutes. We have been cooperating with B. Brown Company. Venus sports systems have been quite good. The small cameras we use for uh, weak patients uh, with those who don't have a thick uh, uh, subcutaneous uh, fat layer. The excess is the one that we use is um, subclavicle 
and uh, jugular excess. The majority of punctures are done blindly under ultrasound control. In the post-injection period, we do the follow-up during three hours. We monitor his complaints, his state, and if we suspect pneumothorax, which is the worst scenario and the worst complication in case of uh, infusion therapy, then we do X-ray of thoracic area, and if pneumothorax is uh, there is evidence, uh, then we transfer the patient to uh, the hospital. Uh, puncture is uh, provided the same day. Uh, so after that, the, we do the follow-up and the drainage is taken out only when uh, it's possible to do so. And chemotherapy is... Uh, uh, rendered during the uh, inpatient treatment. F up to 2017, when we uh, look, uh, looked after our patient, uh, we observed pneumothoraxes. There were cases um, of this type of scenarios, but now we have uh, quite a big experience and the number of complications decreased. And um, now we set these infusion port systems uh, in in uh, the setting of day in hospital care. Another point um, f for uh, the day inpatient care uh, in comparison to inpatient, full inpatient care, it is uh, much less expensive and uh, also it's not recommended to occupy the place uh, of a patient uh, that could benefit from inpatient care more and uh, infusion port won't be paid for in in uh, case of using the this the, the space in that case so um, now the price so we do it during the day care and uh, therefore the price is uh, much smaller nowadays why are we doing this infusion port systems are used so that uh, not just the patient and doctors but also administration has to realize that they yeah, that it um, causes really little number uh, of complications so in our uh, patient uh, in our hospital we see uh, positive dynamics in 2015 one thousand uh, more than 1900 um, catheters were set and uh, then we uh, increase the number of port systems the amount of uh, the number of um, of subclavicle catheters decreased uh, it's both for chemotherapy patients and uh, after surgery patients so we see a big difference after that uh, in 2017 2018 you see another increase but it's related to uh, to the fact that the number of uh, day chemotherapy increased and the more infusion port systems uh, were needed and um, therefore subclerical catheter catheters uh, become decreased 
So here you see that um, uh, subclavic, uh, the less we inject uh, via subclavicle access, uh, the less co uh, number of complications we get. So what are the conclusions? First, it's safe in, in, uh, in the setting of outpatient daycare. we saw a decrease in number of complications uh, then it's uh, convenient uh, both for the patient and the doctor also for nurses who provides the uh, the care it's uh, quite quick so this um, our doctors are skillful in this and the the uh, in the provision of the success uh, takes about 20 minutes and then uh, positive effect thank you very much